tonight we're going to talk about winter warmers and specifically the Black Raven Festivus. Festivus for the rest of us um, from that one sitcom comedy. Anyways, uh, this is Black Raven Brewing, which is, as some of y'all may remember, it is one of my favorite breweries. Um, they featured in both of my Oktoberfest um, beer videos over the last two years, and um, they'll be back. So this is a pale ale, a holiday pale ale. Um, specifically, it's of the style Winter Warmer. A Winter Warmer is a kind of a, a subcategory or a, a term to describe certain old ales, which are barrel-aged English-style brown or reddish ales, brown ales, um, as in, you know, kind of English bitter kind of stuff. Um, I'm trying to think what the... Newcastle is probably the most common um, British brown you'll get in the U.S. What differentiates the winter warmer is the spices, not necessarily the warming alcohol characteristics, though definitely you'll see higher ABVs in a lot of winter warmers as that's part of the marketing. Um, so it's kind of all of the same subcategory family as Christmas ales, um, old ales, winter ales, they're all the same thing. So uh, you should expect a lot of spice and this, in these they're actually spice. They've actually added spices. Cloves, orange peels, um, ginger are all common. Um, uh, some roots roots work, work really well for adding to, to beers, in my experience. Um, so so ginger, glangol, um, yeah, that's all I know off the top of my head. Um, probably because one of those is on the can in front of me. The three-syllable one. Glangol. <laughs> Am I supposed to laugh at my own jokes? Anyways, so winter warmer, they are spiced, like actually spiced, not just spicy as a product of the roasting and brewing method, but actually spiced. Brown ales, typically 7 to 14 ABV. This is quite on the low end of that at only 7.3. And so let's uh, give it a try. Crack the can one-handed here. Feel claw grip. Bring in my uh, cider glass. Do, 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 do. Someday I'll get a stand for this, maybe. Let's pour. Mm, so uh, a light honey color. It's a really nice looking thick head. Goodness gracious. Nice. Yeah, so uh, honey maybe to the side, just, just to the amber side, a little bit, you know, touches of red in there. Really pretty. Um, this far away, I'm getting uh, banana, um, which means it's a probably a relatively light roast. Uh, I mean, they'll probably mix multiples. You probably have darks and lights, but um, <clears throat> banana is something you more naturally smell from a Hefeweizen, which is a very much lighter roast. So I'm guessing this is going to be a lighter roast, um, dominant. Um, as you get closer... There's some some vegetable, um, like uh, hay, maybe uh, certain forms of grass, um, not weed. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> learned today. Um, apparently, hops's closest plant relative, good old Mary Jane. <laughs> Anyways, that wee bit of trivia for you today. So orange peel. Smells like a like like a a really nice like almost chai tea bag. Oh, that's good. Like like a lot of those, you know, ginger and orange and and clove and cinnamon kind of uh, spices. And that's all in the nose. See the head's kind of softened a bit here. Let's go in for a drink. Um, I'll be back. Mm. A 
could see uh, up front initially like there's very low bitterness what bitterness is there serves to just kind of accent everything else it comes in like a really nice mild like juice cooler almost um maybe tangerine, not, not full on orange, but you know, kind of a softer, like a tangerine, um, you know, really spiced, maybe mixed with some apple cider. Um, uh, the cinnamon, the cloves, the ginger are just kind of all there. It sweetens as it, as it sticks around in your mouth. Um, and then as you drink it, the, the hoppy, the, the, the really mild balanced hops, finally kind of come to play and they, they slowly build as you as you hold it in your mouth and then you swallow it and but they never build to like IPA it's 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 a brown it's it's not overly hopped um it it becomes almost like this dark chocolate in your in your mouth as you swallowed it and the sweetness and the spices are going down your throat and you just got like this lingering kind of really like a 85 or 90 percent dark chocolate there um, yeah, so this is really good. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to let you go, because I'm going to be preoccupied for a little bit with Festivus by Black Raven Brewing. Catch y'all around.